An endangered species is a species that is likely to become extinct in the near future, either worldwide or in a specific area. In 2014, the largest monarch butterfly population, the Eastern Migration, hit an all-time low. It was proposed to the United States Fish and Wildlife Service that the monarch be put on the endangered species list. The implications of this would be big, because never before has such a common species been listed as endangered. The monarch is widespread and revered. Once a species is listed as endangered, its survival comes under legal protection. Federal agencies must ensure that any actions they authorize, fund, or carry out are not likely to jeopardize the existence of that species or its habitat. This puts pressure on government and industry to make big changes. In order to avoid putting the monarch on the list, industrialists rallied with conservationists to stabilize the monarch population. Things were looking good and numbers were increasing steadily until 2019, but in 2020, again, both the eastern and western migration populations plummeted, leading officials to suspect that the western population might already be in what is called an extinction vortex. An extinction vortex is a cycle of factors that all influence one another, creating a feedback loop for extinction. For example, lower numbers lead to less genetic variation, which leads to less genetic fitness, lower disease resistance, and a lower population. Many of the threats monarchs face also impact other species, and creating and conserving quality monarch habitat will benefit many other wildlife, including other pollinators. In this way, the monarch acts as a charismatic ambassador whose protection can serve to protect other species as well. In the United States, monarchs are categorized into two main populations, with very little mixing between the two. The western population is located mostly in California. The eastern breeds east of the Rocky Mountains and winters in central Mexico. Monarch butterflies in the eastern migration used to number in the hundreds of millions. They have declined by 80%. The United States Fish and Wildlife Service will make their decision in December of 2020 as to whether or not the monarch will be listed as endangered. No one knows how a listing will affect our lives, but we do know that if we do nothing and continue to fail to protect pollinators, our lives will be impacted negatively. Even as we await the decision to list the monarch as endangered, conservationists and citizen scientists are working with farmers, ranchers, national parks and forest rangers, gardeners and homeowners to provide education about the monarch, to plant milkweed and create biodiverse, protected habitat. Important breeding sites are being created and protected and these places host much more than just the majestic monarch. Roadsides, utility easements, and other right-of-way spaces are also being turned into viable pollinator habitat. These spaces present opportunities to add millions of miles of high-quality habitat for monarch butterflies and other pollinators. Even with all the efforts being made to protect the monarch, we are still seeing a decline in the migratory populations in North America. There is much debate for the causes of this, but everyone can agree that habitat loss is the main factor. Monarchs urgently need conservation efforts and active protection. In Canada, the monarch is already on the endangered species list. To keep them off the list here in the USA will require massive cooperative conservation efforts. So we thank you for doing your part and creating wild spaces wherever you can. It's all hands on deck now. Together, we can make a difference.